All right, so let's talk about a couple of examples because I remember uh, a good example of a property that I sold and I called you guys and I recommended to you to furnish the place because it was a large empty home in Woodlawn Avenue in Mangerton. Now, I know that a previous agent had come in and quoted around 650000 and they said a typical marketing campaign, it was fairly sort of standard. Mm -hmm. But when you guys got involved, you really went top to tail in terms of the bedrooms and the bathrooms, you put artwork on the walls, you did lampshades and lightings and all sorts of things like that and the place looked amazing. Mm -hmm. We had about 50 groups of people through in a four week period mm -hmm. and we sold for $685,000. Mm -hmm. Now, for that small investment that the owner made, it really was a massive return. If you said to anyone, invest $3,000 and I'll give you $30,000 back, mm -hmm. they would definitely give you the money. Mm -hmm. And a lot of owners tend to balk at investing in this, but I see them investing um, tons of money into other items that they have that are of a lower insignificant value compared to their own home. We're talking about tax-free dollars here, mm -hmm. right? So have you guys got any examples of properties that you've styled that have achieved a similar result? Yes, yes, we had a, an apartment in Wollongong that um, was shown without furniture. It was on the market for quite a while. It was empty and it was, you know, it was a bit stagnant and, and the agent wanted to try a different angle and suggested furniture hire to the vendor. Mm -hmm. So they agreed. It was a couple of thousand dollar investment. Mm -hmm. Um, and basically the week after the first uh, inspection of that of, of the buyers that had seen the property unfurnished came through and they actually um, bought the property straight away. They were really? convinced after seeing it with furniture because um, some of the rooms were a little bit unusual shaped, mm -hmm. angular, and they couldn't imagine how beds would fit and furniture, couldn't visualise themselves in the property. Um, but that having the furniture in it just sold it for them because they could then imagine themselves living there. It became a home rather than just an apartment that was mm. that was vacant. Wow. And it um, and it seems to be the case even with lower priced properties. We found that another example in um, I think it was in Russell Vale was um, it was wasn't a very high priced property. It was three hundred seventy five thousand. It, um, the vendor was quite happy to, they recognised the benefits of putting furniture in and they were still happy, even though it was a lower priced um, property, to um, put furniture higher in the property. And it sold um, for $12,000 above the expected um, value and um, within the, the four week period that it was in. Is that right? Yeah, so it really yeah. didn't make a difference. $12,000 is, is not a small amount of money. That's right. And it's, a, it's tax free money, right? Yeah, exactly. So it would take someone, mm. it could take them a year or two to save $12,000. So it yeah. sort of becomes a bit sort of silly in a way for owners not to ever consider, even if they have furniture already or they have a vacant home, it doesn't really matter because you can give someone an idea of what they can add and subtract and yep. do all those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. But you know, this is money out there in the marketplace that you're kind of creating, yes. I guess, you know? So we, why wouldn't you take advantage of it? We found that the statistics were, average property was about 15 days on the market using furniture mm -hmm. um, and, and gained at least a 4% um, increase in the, the um, estimated original value. So. Wow. Yeah, plus the, the cost of the furniture hire is less than one bid at yeah. an auction. Yeah, an auction, really. Yeah. It is, yeah. Far yeah. less than one bid. Absolutely. So generally, so that's all it takes. Yeah, and when you think about, that's a really good point, because when, when you think about an auction or even a normal sale, mm -hmm. You know, offers go up by yeah. five thousand at a time, not yeah. five hundred dollars at a time. Right. You know, so this is a really key component to marketing mm -hmm. that I don't think enough owners consider. Yeah. And if they think that it's going to cost thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, they're wrong. Mm -hmm. But also, they have to realise that that emotion. I mean, what you're talking about, Diane, when someone walks into a home, it was unfurnished. Now it's furnished and now they've bought it, mm. well, what's the difference? Well, 
obviously the furniture is one difference, but what did the furniture do? So the furniture then, and you would agree with this, Wendy, it, it, it struck a chord with them in their heart and in their emotion, and mm -hmm. real estate, as we know, is, is all emotive, you know? You That's want people right. to fall in love with them, you know? That's and I, right. I know when, when we bought our first home, my wife and I, you know, it just felt right. You often hear people say, it just felt right, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's unquantifiable. Yep. So this is what marketing is all about. That's a really good point. It's less than one bid at an auction. Mm -hmm. And that goes for furniture hire, for mm -hmm. paper advertisement, all exactly. the internet, because yep. they're all complementary mm -hmm. to one That's another. Right. They all enhance the property. Yeah, and I guess another point that owners should really uh, take on board here is that once the home's in place and they've got your furniture for, say, a four-week period, the brochures look amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The signboard's going to look fantastic. Yes. Yep. The internet's going to look amazing. Yeah. You know, these are the open houses. People yeah. Yeah. are interested because the furniture's there. They they want to hang around. Want to That's hang around. Right. They've got these draw cards yeah. from everywhere, yeah. and it's all set because yeah. it's you've got an amazing product to begin with. That's right.